888-900-3443. And you are rocking to WICR. Flying off the bounds, back here, Ian Sachs, Johnny Diaz, segment number two for this Wednesday afternoon. Johnny, more NFL action yes. and Hall of Fame quarterbacks we're going to be looking at here. And it seems as though the two great quarterbacks from the last 15 years had very different, different days this past Sunday. Yeah. Talking about Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady leads his team to another game-winning drive in the mm -hmm. final two minutes of the fourth quarter, edging the New York Giants 27-26. Mm -hmm. Peyton Manning has had what looks like a potential game, a potential career-ending game. Yeah. At one point in the game, five completions, four interceptions. Terrible. Oh, the goodness. Kansas City Chiefs rolling, mauling over the Denver Broncos. And Manning, I have to say, it, an incredible warrior coming back from the neck surgery, playing so well after that. Going to the Super Bowl. Didn't do well, but went to the Super Bowl. Right? Hey, going to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. being a top two team in the AFC for uh, first two, three years in Denver. But it's it's tragically coming to an end for him. It, now, as as a, a fan of the New England Patriots and, and of, of Tom Brady in particular, Peyton Manning was never my favorite player because... <laughs> Always the biggest rival. It's always Brady versus Manning. Brady versus Manning. Brady versus Manning. And, but the respect that Peyton Manning gets is so well deserved. Yeah. W without a doubt, one of the one of the greatest top five quarterbacks of all time. No question. Yeah. No question. No question. And no it's time. so unfortunate to see his career coming to this, coming to an end like this. Mm hmm. Um, I'm happy. I'm sorry to say it. I don't want to crush anybody's uh favorite player, but if he was still with the Colts as a player, I respect him. He's an incredible quarterback. I mean, he's broken the record for most touchdowns within a season. Uh, one of the oldest players to get an NFL MVP. I mean, he what does he have? Four or five? Uh, I think four MVP. Four, four MVPs. Record four yeah, MVP awards. Yeah, that's incredible. You know, he has a Super Bowl ring. He went to uh, three Super Bowls total. Um, I mean, he, he has his numbers there. I mean, he he's had a great, great career. I mean, if the, I can't take away anything from him. Um, the reason why I'm happy, because now the Broncos have to rebuild. It's rebuilding time for them. And that's a huge process. So that gives the Oakland Raiders a chance to be that standout team. And then... Kansas City is going to be incredible as well. And Chargers don't care about the Chargers. But uh, they're down. But um, Peyton Manning, incredible. That's all I can describe it just in one word, incredible. And, you know, he, I love that, that when uh, he would always play it against Tom Brady, it's always been down the wire, down the wire. And when he was with, uh, you know, and if you think about it, they always met each other in the AFC Championship. And it was just that one time Peyton Manning got through. It I, 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 still, remember, I yeah. still remember watching that game. Yeah. It, I was in seventh grade then, and I still remember it. Mm -hmm. You know, just watching that game. And, and of course, I, I, I wanted the Patriots to win it. And the Patriots, Patriots go ahead in the fourth quarter. And I say... Manning can just never, never get past Brady and the Pats. Just never do it. And then, you know, you got to hand it to, to Manning and the Colts there. They put together an incredible game-winning drive and, and, and finally did break through. And I, I, I'm glad that, I'm glad that they, they won. Mm -hmm. the, the thing that bothers me is that it looks like Manning... It is taking such a step back now that 
so will the Broncos, and they, they won't get to another Super Bowl. And the big, 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 big thing that bothers me is that his brother Eli is going to finish, likely, likely, going to finish with more Super Bowl rings than him. No. That bothers me because Eli Manning, not to take anything away from Eli, he's a very, very good quarterback. Yeah. And not taking those two Super Bowls away from him. He played phenomenally. He he outdueled Tom Brady in both of those Super Bowls. Yeah. I'll give him 100% that. But the fact that Peyton Manning is not going to have more Super Bowl rings than his brother Eli. Now, if you ask anybody for, you know, if you ask anybody, you're building a team in their prime, who do you want? Eli Manning, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Yeah. I don't know anybody, anybody who would say I would take Eli Manning over Peyton Manning to build my team. Well, you know how the New York Gi- Giants fans are. <laughs> they would, uh, well, Eli, you know, Eli. Right. But they would never, <laughs> they, they can't have a valid argument because the numbers are there for Peyton Manning. <laughs> right. The, <laughs> the, 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 only, the only thing that. Eli has is that uh, in the brightest stage, the biggest game, he's two and zero. Peyton's one and two. But you know what? I'd rather take three trips to the Super Bowl than a two than being two and zero. Yeah. Because to get to the game three times, it's hard to do. Is so 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 hard to do. Well, not not for Tom Brady. He has six trips. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> not for him. So. But you know what? It, it it is still hard for the Patriots. To yeah, do. that's true. It, if it was easy for the Patriots, they'd go every year. Yeah, very true. But think about it: they go ten years without winning a title. Yeah. The best dynasty of the last fifteen years, and they go ten years in that stretch mm. without winning a title. Yeah. So it's not that right there shows you that it's so hard to do. The Patriots, the one seed in the AFC, multiple times in that stretch. Yeah. The Patriots go 16-0 and in, in that stretch, losing the Super Bowl. Yeah. The Patriots, prob- several years there, arguably the best team throughout the season, don't get to the Super Bowl. Yeah. So, you know, you everyone jokes about, you know, you know it's, it's easy. You know, of course the Patriots are, are, are going to go. Front runner, you know, if, if you start jumping on that, that bandwagon. But you know what? They work just as hard as everyone else. Absolutely. They were, all 32 teams work just as hard as each other. Absolutely. And it's just, it, it just comes down to preparation. Mm-hmm. It comes down to knowing what to do. And, and, you know, some days talent. Talent does do it. Absolutely. But for... For the, you know, now let's let's jump it over back to the, back to the Patriots because, you know, that's something to talk about. I that, mean, that it is something to talk about. Yeah, nine and zero. Yeah, and looking at New England's remaining schedule, it's pretty. Fa- it's ve- not pretty favorable. It's very favorable for them to go undefeated. Though, for them to go undefeated. They have, and you know, I wouldn't mind seeing that again, because look at. I'm not trying to, Tom Brady, what, and it was hard for me until last year when Ian said, "Come on, Johnny, the tuck and roll happened <laughs> years back. There's nothing you can do. It happened already." And I remember this conversation. You're all like, "You just have to respect the man. You have to respect him." He goes, "I remember you told me too. You said there's certain players." that are great and you just have to respect them and this uh past year when they uh when they won the super bowl i just said i said it i was like you know what tom brady is incredible and when i started figuring out he makes every player look good he can have a rookie wide receiver make him look good he can have a veteran player that's been playing for years that was mediocre, but then when he gets a chance to play with the Patriots, he's a standout player. You know, he makes players look good. And I think that's why he's better than Peyton Manning because Peyton Manning needs a superstar, at least one superstar, to make that team look good. But with Tom Brady, whatever he has, he deals with, and he makes them look good. And, and, I, and I think that, that we see, you know, 
you say, well, the Patriots have Rob Gronkowski. That's that. That's a, that's a big gun. The last few weeks, the Patriots have not thrown to Gronk yeah. that much because the coverage people are are, are guarding are guarding him because they know okay that that's his number one target. But at the same time, it's like he has other players as well that could be great potential players, but he makes them look better. Think about all the players that left the Patriots. Were they standout players? Randy Moss when he left? No. He went downhill after that. It's like when somebody goes gets that opportunity to play for the Patriots, it's like, you know what? I'm playing with the greatest quarterback of all time. Let me stand out. Let let me listen. I feel like when Tom Brady talks, no one talks. Everybody just listens. Because not only does he have passion for the game, he eats, he breathes, and he lives football. Well, that 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 shows through in his journey mm-hmm. to where he is in the NFL. Yeah, hundred ninety ninth pick. Yep, fourth string quarterback. Yep, works his way up in a year to backup. Yeah, Part- works his way up to a year in backup mm-hmm. because he went and he learned the playbook. He learned the playbook forward and backward. He watched film more than anyone else because he said, "This is how I'm going to get better. This is how I'm going to." Get to where I want to be, yeah. and then when when the opportunity not Drew Bledsoe goes down, that's why a backup quarterback is so important, important. Mm-hmm. because he stepped in, he knew exactly what to do, yeah. he knew all the plays, yeah. he knew all the preparation, yeah. he knew what it took to be a starting quarterback in the NFL before ever stepping foot on to a field as a starting quarterback, yeah. and then and then that's that's why Bill Belichick said, you know what, when 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 Bledsoe was able to come back, he said, I have, "I have to go with Brady." But looking ahead for the New England Patriots, they have Buffalo this week, mm-hmm. Houston after that. Then they have Tennessee, the Jets, yeah. the Dolphins, and Denver. Yeah, and there should be one more game because they're nine and zero. There should be one more game. Do, um, or they might have a bye. No, they already had their bye. They already had their bye. Uh, oh, this is bothering me. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But just looking at that schedule. Who's going to stop them? Yeah. The Jets scare me. The I'll, I'll be honest with you. Oh, the you know Jets, what? Jets are going to do their homework. What? The Jets are going to do their homework. Every matchup, Jets-Patriots no. is close. No. Every single matchup. Yeah. Um, Denver did scare me, but not knowing how Peyton Manning is, but they still scare me. Their defense is really good. Yeah. Really good. The Denver defense is really good. So that game scares me. Outside of that, nobody scares me. No. Nobody no. scares me. <laughs> And there's no stopping Brady. It's crazy. Buffalo- and he's running. <laughs> and he's running. Like now he's a mobile quarterback yeah. at 37. Yeah. Nobody stops him. Fourth, third, fourth, and one, two yards, inches, whatever. Mm-hmm. The most lethal runner, Tom Brady. Yeah. Jumps over the pile, sticks the ball out, then pulls it right back, corrals it, gets knocked down. Yeah. Nobody. No other quarterback I'd rather have in that situation. Well, no other quarterback I'd rather have in any situation than Tom Brady. But still, nonetheless, that that is 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 so good right there. And you know, just another dynamic of the game. But Johnny, we need to take a quick break, and then yeah. we'll come back. Great football stuff today. But um, uh-huh. I think there's another sport, a, a round ball that's orange, that we need to talk about. Off the bounce. No, just kidding. Uh, but. The what, NBA. What could oh. that be? The NBA. A. Flying off the bounce. Be right back after this. This is Jesse Ledoux, Miss International.